Good morning, Granite Bay. Today we'll discuss AP exam deadlines, student government applications, and band. Also, pennies for patients, powder puff, and podcasts. All that and more, right here on GBTV. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Grizzlies. Today is Friday, February 21st. I'm Ransom Allen. And I'm Jay Gross, and we have a brand new bulletin for you today, so let's jump on in. Attention, Powderpuff student coaches. You have a mandatory meeting in room 507 at 8 a.m. on Wednesday, February 26th. You will have donuts, juice, and we'll discuss important coaching information. You must attend to be able to coach Powderpuff this year. We hope to see you there. Please help us acknowledge these students, athletes, Trenton Schmidt for fencing Columbia University, May Lynn, water polo, Pomona Pitzer College. Jessica Veracuda, Crew, Columbia University. And congratulations to the 2020 Boys State nominees, Jack Gonzorowski, Leland O'Neill, Lathan Skihan, Michael Vaughn, and Elijah Zuchenko. Spring 2020 AP deadlines are approaching. Withdrawal forms for the spring AP exams need to be submitted by February, uh, February 28th by 3 p.m. Payments for spring term courses are due by Thursday, March 5th, 2020 at 3 p.m. The cost per exam is $99 plus transaction fee, approximately $106, which you can pay with check or cash at the student services window, or you can pay online with the link below. Be sure to make the checkout at GBHS AP scholarship. Applications are also due on February 28, 2020 at 3 p.m. Scholarships and fee waivers will pay the student services window by cash or check. If you have a conflict for AP testing dates, please email Mrs. McKinney. If you are not signed up for the correct courses via my AP, your exam will not be ordered. Want to make a difference at this school, impact school culture, help plan memorable events, and make new friends along the way? We would love to have you in student government next fall. From the first day rally to decades dance, homecoming every 15 minutes, and winter ball, we have so many great events next fall, and we need new, creative, innovative people like you. Applications for fall are available now, so pick, up, so pick up your application in room 507 at any time. Seniors, the local scholarship program is now open. Several local scholarships are available, so check out the local scholarship program book online at the College and Career Center webpage or in the College and Career Center. Deadline for all local scholarships are Friday, February 28th at 3 p.m. And now, here's a quick video regarding the Guard and Drumline Invitational. Hi guys, you know who I am, I'm Jake. Um, today I'm here to talk to you about the Drumline and Guard Invitational. Uh, now this event is a yearly event that happens every year here at the high school in the gym. And it's uh, really cool because uh, schools around the area basically come to compete. And yeah, it's really cool. It's a great fundraiser for the band. Money goes towards our band. And uh, it's honestly an all about great event. I mean, if you haven't seen a drumline field show before, I definitely recommend you stop by and see one. Uh, I guarantee you, you won't regret it. Thanks. Hope to see you there on February 22nd. The National Honor Society is sponsoring Pennies for Patients, which benefits the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. As thanks for helping out to the worthy cause, a class with the most donations will receive a donut party. Fundraiser ends today, so hurry and donate to your second period donation box. Go ahead and buy your yearbook now for only $90. Scan the code, go to the online web store, or bring in a check to Student Services. You want this one for lifetime memories. If you haven't already, follow at People of GBHS on Instagram to see how your peers have embraced a new perspective this year. This month's episode of GBTV's podcast, Barely News, this month's episode features Brian and Brianna Lambie discussing Black History Month with hosts Ransom Allen and Ashley Young. You can find it at Granite Bay Today, Anchor, and Spotify. Speaking of podcasts, a choir teacher here at Granite Bay, Ms. Peeps, has her own podcast. Here's Ms. Peeps talking about just that. Uh, I 
along with three of my other music teacher friends, uh, have a podcast called Amused, a music educator's podcast, in which we discuss our weeks of teaching and focus on a topic of discussion we'd like to get better at. Uh, we start with a mistake of the week, where something where we uh, totally, totally just messed that up, or something that went wrong that week, uh, and then at the end of the podcast, we call it Win of the Week, where we celebrate our accomplishments. We were in our first five years of teaching, and in teaching, that's the um, that's the magic number that if you can get through five years, you're most likely going to get through teaching, um, but within the first five years, many, 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 many teachers quit. I, really, I, I think I did like once, and then I thought I thought it was pretty cool, just like... Um, so we were all really good friends from college, and we were like, let's just like hang out and talk and record it. Anyone, anyone can listen to our podcast and get something out of it. Like it's, there's nothing better than listening to somebody who has struggled with something and working through it and then figuring out how they've succeeded. As generations go on, more generations are open to hearing more opinions and being able to hear like opinions and thoughts of like other people. People are just like, oh wow. That's cool that people think that. Deep down, everyone wants to laugh or learn something. Um, and that's why we listen to these things is like a lot, or yeah, I mean like even with like all of the murder podcasts, like people are learning something now, how not to get murdered. Oh, by the way, I record a podcast. <laughs> Credit recovery applications for the spring two and summer sessions are available now. Spring two session runs from March 23rd to May 8th. Summer sessions run from June 8th to July 16th. Students may access the application on our school website under the counseling page. Otherwise, students are able to see their counseling or front desk, no appointment necessary during lunch, before or after school. To pick up an application, a parent signature is required on the application form before it is returned to the counselor for processing. Since there is a limited space in these sessions, it is important that students get application forms turned in as soon as possible. Class enrollment is capped at just 25 students. If you're looking for a job this summer? Luckily, we have you covered. There is a Golfland Sunsplash hiring event for various positions. Representatives will be at GBHS during both lunches on March 10th. Applications will be accepted on the spot. Also, California State Parks lifeguards are needed. Must be 16 years old. Tryouts will be held at Folsom Lake SRA on Saturday, March 7th at 10 a.m. Please go to the College and Career Center webpage for details or come to the College and Career Center. On March 25th at 11.15, the University of Arizona will be showing up on campus. If you wish to be a part of it, then sign up at the link below. And also, the CSU Sacramento Informational Session, except for students at CSU Sacramento, is on March 3rd at 9.15 in the College and Career Center. Sierra College Enrollment Specialist Spring 2020 Schedule in the College and Career Center, Monday, February 24th at 10.30 to 12 and Monday, 3-2 at 10.30 to 12. All right, it is now time for our weekly Grizzly Pride card drawing. Each week, we draw two cards for teachers endorsed, and the winners are Bella Frey, recommended by Miss Daly, and Remick to Prosper, recommended by Samson. Congratulations, Grizzlies. Head on over to the office to claim your prizes. Oh, it looks like we have some breaking news okay. here, folks. Uh, congratulations to the boys and girls soccer for advancing to the section quarterfinals. The boys defeated Laguna Creek 2-1 and the girls beat Oakmont 5-1. GBHS is hosting the girls game today at 3 p.m. on the grass field against number five Pittman. So be sure to attend. Congratulations, Grizzlies. I'll definitely be attending that. If you have an announcement, recognition, or story idea that you want to be shown on the GBTV broadcast, submit it to the GBHS communication request form at the link below. Also, be sure to follow at Granite Bay High Twitter and Instagram account and our Instagram accounts at Granite Bay TV. Well, Grizzlies, that's it for today. Till next time. Have a great day, Granite Bay. And go, go Grizzlies. Grizzlies.